Okay, guys, we're heading home. Just got my phone from uh, Lodi three quarter. So, if anybody really knows me well, which most of you guys don't, I'm a cheap bastard. You offer me a free phone, I'm taking it. That's why I got the last phone and the phone before that and the phone before that. Even though most phones are free to get, it seems like people just get sick of me not being able to answer the phone. And me, I'm a simple guy when it comes to the phone. It rings, I answer it, I hang it up. I don't need to send you pictures, videos. I don't need to take 42 black and white glossies of something as I'm driving by the road. That's what I got my camera for. So I don't know, this thing is a smartphone. So me being of my age, what that means to me is I'll go home and let little guy explain it to me. Being he's got like a like a computer in his hand. So, but other than that, I got a question for you guys. Okay, I already know Lodi three quarters answer, which is Mike. I already know Rich, this is the other Rich, his answer. Okay, I already know Steve's answer because Steve is the person that happened to. Okay, you got Steve. He's got a 63 Nova wagon. Okay, painted it earlier this year. I know you guys have seen pictures on and off of it. Okay, just put a cool set of wheels on it. You guys will see it in this video. Set of Craigers, they look like, uh, I guess, Raiders. Polished aluminum, really look nice. Definitely made the car uh, look a lot nicer than it did with the hubcaps on it. But uh, forget about all that. You pull into a cruise night with your car. Okay, you're there a few minutes. You get back in your car in the passenger seat like Steve was doing and he was checking something. And next thing the old guy sticks his head in the window and says to you, now how do you respond to this? And this is a two-parter, guys. How do you respond to somebody when they stick their head in the window that you don't know, and he says, man, I like the car, I like the color, but would you paint it with a roller? Okay, which Steve pretty much kept his cool, okay. Then time goes on, the night passes by, and you come walking back up to your car and the guy's sitting on your tailgate. <laughs> and then can't understand why you just got pissed off at him. What would you do if you just put a car together? Well, not even put a car together. What would you do if somebody passed that comment to you if you pulled into a cruise night, a show, a parking lot, in front of your house, it doesn't really matter where you are. And what would you do if you found somebody sitting slash leaning on your car? Because I've, I've, I had somebody years ago get into my AMX, close the door and was sitting in there making vroom vroom noises. My brother saw him. My brother got him out of there before I saw him. Thank God I was on the other side of the parking lot. And my brother told the guy, you better run or my brother's gonna kill you. Then I had a guy leaning on the quarter panel of the AMX once while he was showing off his car and couldn't understand why every word that came out of my mouth was after my eyes were coming out of my head and I was ready to wring his neck. What would you do if you found somebody leaning on your car like that? And what would you do if the guy was stupid enough to pass a comment like that? And my friend Steve said, he goes, you know, after he passed the comment, I figured he would have been too embarrassed to come back. And my answer to Steve was, I said, someone that passes a comment like that isn't embarrassed about anything. So, what would you guys do? I want to hear some of your responses.